You might be like me and have been shooting 35 millimeter for quite a long time now and just haven't really dipped your toes into the waters of medium format. I know for me, it really just kind of comes down to, I really like to develop and scan my own work and I don't have a scanner for medium format. So it's been a while since I've really tried shooting medium format. Or you're new to analog photography in general and you really just want to dive right into medium format and you're looking for your first camera. Regardless of your reasoning, you've clicked this video to learn about this handsome devil, the Mamiya 645. And while this isn't my first medium format camera, I've owned several TLRs at this point. This is the first medium format camera that I've really stuck with, that I've liked a lot, and that I see myself continuing to shoot with in the future. And honestly, there's a lot of reasons as to why I love this camera so much, um, but there's gonna be a couple main reasons that we're gonna go over today. I had a good weekend shooting with it. I wanna show you some photos that I got with it, tell you about that experience, and really go over the pros of this camera and why I think that if you're looking into getting into medium format for the first time, the Mamiya 645 should really be a contender that you look into. So a couple of weekends ago, I decided to spend an entire weekend shooting with the Mamiya 645, um, put a couple rolls through it and really see what the shooting experience is like and then see what kind of images I can get back on those rolls. I've seen a good amount of people online praising this camera for a number of different reasons and I really wanted to put it to the test and tell you guys my thoughts about this camera. So let's start by introducing the camera a little bit more in depth and I wanna talk about the pros of this camera, what I genuinely enjoyed about the shooting process. So the Mamiya 645 is a medium format camera that was released in 1975 and it gets its name by its aspect ratio being 6 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters. This aspect ratio provides a very similar frame to 35 millimeter, but with almost three times the negative surface area. So it's going to give you all that beautiful detail that people love about medium format while having a very similar aspect ratio than what you're used to if you've been shooting 35 millimeter for a while. And this aspect ratio leads me to my very first pro about this camera is you get more shots per roll. A good majority of entry level medium format cameras are going to give you anywhere from 10 to 12 frames per roll depending on their aspect ratio. The 645 aspect ratio provides you with the extra space necessary to get up to 16 shots per roll of 120 film and if my math is correct, that's at least two extra frames. And I know for me personally, I don't really enjoy the square aspect ratio on most medium format cameras. So the extra shots per roll on this camera is really just an added bonus, but it's a very welcome bonus. The next pro for me is gonna be how modular the Mamiya 645 can be. It really lets you build a camera that you are comfortable shooting with. You want a waist level viewfinder? They got it. You get really tired of that inverted mirror and you can't get used to it kind of like me and you want to go back to a eye level viewfinder it's got that too one with and without a light meter want a pistol grip how about an auto winding grip it's got those and many more different options currently i have the auto winding grip and while i enjoy about 80 percent of it it does have a bit of a shallow grip because of how close it needs to sit to the body in order to advance the film so i do find myself holding it a bit awkward at times but for the most part i've kind of gotten used to it but honestly however you want this camera to work for you there's plenty of options where you'll be able to find a comfortable usability for this camera and lastly, a big pro for me is always gonna come down to the price. If you've seen any of my past videos, you know that I'm very budget oriented. I don't like spending a lot of money on my cameras in the sense that I like to just find the best deal that I can find online or on Facebook Marketplace. And you can find the Mamiya 645 in a lot of different ways. I've seen them on Mercari, eBay, Facebook Marketplace. They're a fairly easy camera to find. And honestly, you can find them in near mint condition, obviously depending on the features and what lens it has, but for less than $500. Now, even $500 is not a little bit of money. It's a good amount of money to be spending, but you're getting a lot of camera for that price. And again, depending on what lens that you have. I bought my Mamiya 645 for about $250 and I've got an uh, 80 millimeter F4, um, which is one of the more budget oriented lenses. I think if there's the lens alone is around $150, um, but mine isn't in perfect condition, but granted, these are very durable cameras and they last a pretty long time. And so unless you're beating it up, it shouldn't break on you by any means. Um, but finding replacement parts and things like that are also fairly easy and all of the different uh, extra bonus features like the auto winding grip or pistol grips or things like that are also fairly affordable online um, and you just got to look at the right places and make sure that you can get a good deal on it. 
And like I mentioned, you're getting a lot of camera for your dollar when buying the Mamiya 645. You're getting a very, very versatile and well-built medium format camera that not only gets you a few extra frames per roll, which will save you a little bit of money in the long run, it has some fantastic glass in its lineup. I want to say it has one of the fastest, if not the fastest medium format lens ever made. Um, it's a 81.9, and I think even that lens is just shy of $400, depending on its condition. Um, and that lens, so I hear, I haven't used it myself, I hear it's just an absolutely phenomenal lens. Um, and so when you're looking to grow a collection that isn't going to break the bank, the Mamiya 645 really gives you a lot of flexibility. Overall, the Mamiya 645 is an extremely fun shooting experience, and it's really a great camera to start shooting medium format with, but that's not to say it's without its flaws. And the biggest flaw for me is going to be it's kind of an awkward camera to hold if you don't have the proper equipment that's going to make it a more ergonomic and comfortable experience for you. And like I mentioned earlier, I have the auto winding grip, which does give it a bit more of a standard SLR ergonomic grip to it. Um, the grip is a bit shallow. I do kind of have big hands, but overall, this does create a lot more of a comfortable shooting experience. A lot of us analog photographers refer to our cameras as bricks because they are just big metal boxes that weigh a ton. The Mamiya 645 quite literally is a brick. It's just a big rectangular metal box if you don't have any sort of grip for it. And that makes it very, very awkward to hold. So if you are going to be getting this camera, you kind of do need to invest in getting some modular aspects to it, like a pistol grip or the auto winding grip. Granted, these grips aren't super expensive. They cost anywhere from, I think, $50 to $200, depending on, one, the condition and also what product you're getting. I believe that my auto winding grip was only about $75. It's not the best looking one. It's a bit beat up, but it works just fine. So if you just buy the camera by itself without any of the grips, you're going to have a little bit of an awkward shooting experience. Uh, the shutter releases are in two kind of bizarre spots that, again, when you have certain uh, accessories, will then make them ergonomic to use and very comfortable. But if you were to just try shooting with the blank camera without any sort of modular aspects to it, it is going to be a little bit of an awkward experience. So if you are going to be buying this camera, I highly suggest that you look into whether it's a pistol grip, there is a left-handed sided grip and a right-handed sided auto winding grip. There's a bunch of different options that you can get. There's even custom ones online that you can find. Um, but I highly suggest getting one that's going to make the shooting experience a lot more comfortable for you. But I can honestly say that that's the biggest con for me. I really didn't have any other negative sides of shooting with this camera. Granted, the first couple rolls that I shot with this did have some light leaks because I didn't realize it needed some new light seals. That's more or less on me. Um, but if you are looking at getting this camera, the whole awkward, you know, uh, shooting experience can be remedied depending on what kind of grip that you get for it. And these first two rolls, like I mentioned, did get some light leaks. But besides that, some of these photos are some of my favorite pictures that I've ever taken to date. Um, this photo of my wife here is probably one of my favorite photos that I've ever taken of her. Uh, not to brag, but this woman is so incredibly beautiful and I love this photo of her. This really captures her real smile. I always give her crap for not smiling with her real smile on camera. Um, and I was able to get her real smile on this photo and I absolutely love that. And a huge shout out to my buddy Daniel who actually sold me this Mamiya 645. Uh, it means a lot to me that he'd be willing to sell this camera to me and he also actually threw in the two rolls that I shot with for this video of the Portra 400 and Portra 800. So Daniel, thank you so much bud. I greatly appreciate it and I owe you one. But that is going to be the quick rundown on the Mamiya 645. Like I mentioned before, I've owned a couple other medium format cameras. And honestly, uh, this is the first medium format camera that I've truly enjoyed the shooting experience with. Um, and again, it's not to say that it's a perfect camera by any means. But if you're looking to dip your toes into the world of medium format, this would be a great option for you. If you can find one for a really good deal, I highly suggest that you take it. Um, and I, I, I think that you'll enjoy it. I think that you will. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. And if you have any suggestions for anyone looking into getting into medium format, leave that in the comments down below as well, because I haven't shot with a whole lot of medium format. So I would love to hear your suggestions and maybe I'll try out one of those cameras in the future. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye-bye.